What the housewives of Australia need to understand, as they do the ironing, is that if they get it done commercially, it's going to go up in price. I think it would be folly to expect that women will ever dominate or even approach equal representation in a large number of areas. Simply because their aptitudes, abilities and interests are different for physiological reasons. Jesus didn't say yes to everyone. Jesus knew that there was a place for everything and it's not necessarily everyone's place to come to Australia. Same-sex marriage? I'm not someone who wants to see radical change based on the fashion of the moment. I won't be rushing out to get my daughters vaccinated against cervical cancer. If we're honest, most of us would accept that a bad boss is a little bit like a bad father or a bad husband. Notwithstanding all his or her faults, you find that he tends to do more good than harm. He might be a bad boss, but at least he's employing someone while he is in fact a boss. Abortion is the easy way out. It's hardly surprising that people should choose the most convenient exit from awkward situations. There may not be a great job for Indigenous people, but whatever there is, they just have to do it. And if it's picking up rubbish around the community, it just has to be done. These aren't our quotes. These are all things Tony Abbott has said in the past. But there is one thing he's right about. Politicians are going to be judged on everything they say. Hi, I'm Sarah Madison, a Get Up member like you. Tony Abbott is closer than ever to being our next Prime Minister. But every few days, he says things on the campaign that reveal some very concerning social views. They're not just gaffes or mistakes in the moment of a campaign. They reflect a long history of views that most Australians don't want to represent them. The ad you just saw might be familiar. In 2010, Get Up members ran this ad across the country. It is our highest fundraising ad ever. In the last three years, it has only become more relevant. We've seen three years of sexist comments in the media. We've had men and women riding into Get Up saying they want to stand up to it, saying Tony Abbott's indefensible social views can't keep going unexamined and unchallenged. Tony Abbott could be the next Prime Minister. And we can't let the election go by without a true, hard look at his views on issues like abortion, women's health and equality in the workplace. Elections are about our values as well as policies. Last election, GetUp members chipped in over $300,000 to put this out on air. This year it's even more important that voters hear this message. If we can raise that much again, we can make sure voters in marginal seats across Brisbane see this ad many times before Election Day. That means thousands of us chipping in what we can right now. Can you help us get this ad on air by chipping in $50 now? Authorised by Sam McLean, Get Up Sydney.